today I'm covering Tandem as part of the mini series. So Tandem has two pumps. We have the T-Slim X2 and we have the Moby. And they use the exact same algorithm. So that's the Control IQ, the closed loop system for Tandem. And it connects with Dexcom G6, Dexcom G7, the Libre 2 Plus, and it's anticipated to connect with the Libre 3 Plus in the fall, which is really exciting. Moby is half the size. They both require tubes, but Tandem just recently released that Moby will be tubeless. They anticipate for that to come out late 2025 or early 2026. And this pump is about the size of Omnipod, if not a little bit smaller, which is really exciting. With the T-Slim X2, you can control everything from the pump. So if your phone died or you lost it, it's no big deal. But you also do have the ability to use your phone to bolus if you wanted to. That app connects with iOS and with Android, and then Tandem has a compatibility list if you have a phone outside of iPhone or Android. Moby currently only connects with iPhone, but Tandem is working to get this connected with Android as well. How the algorithm works with Control IQ is the pump is always looking 30 minutes into the future. The target is 112.5 to 160, and if your blood sugar is predicted to go above 160 within the next 30 minutes, then the pump will increase your basal rate. And if you're predicted to go above 180, the pump is going to continue to give the increased basal rate, but also give you an automatic correction bolus. And on the flip side, if your blood sugar is predicted to drop below 112.5, it's going to decrease your basal. And if you're predicted to go below 70, it's going to completely suspend it. So it's always looking 30 minutes into the future. And the pump delivers an automatic correction bolus based on your settings. Your correction factor will determine how aggressive your correction bolus is, but actually also how aggressive your basal adjustment is. So that's a pro or con in its own way. If you like to be into the details of figuring out what works best for you, or if you have a great diabetes team who can get the right settings for you, then Tandem is a really, really strong pump. It does not have a learning algorithm, so it's not going to change its settings based on time and watching trends from how you live life. It's not going to be learning your body as other pumps may. Again, that might be a pro or con, just depending on what works best for you. Tandem is also the only pump that allows you to have completely different profiles, because since it's not learning you, you can swap between different profiles, which I do use everything. I'm currently using the Mobi right now. I personally have a normal, a low, a high, and a super high. And this allows me to use different profiles depending on my needs. So if I'm exercising more and I just have extra insulin sensitivity and maybe my eating has changed and I'm eating less saturated fats and I just don't need as much insulin, I could swap and use the low profile. Or let's say due to hormones, I am seeing more insulin resistant. Or let's say I'm going to eat pizza and I'm having a fun day and it's the holiday season and I'm eating lots of treats then I might flip on the high or super high. So that is a very unique ability of tandem, which I am very grateful for, but that doesn't work for everybody's personality type. So that might be too much work to flip between the different profiles, but that is just something that I have really appreciated with the pump.